Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Premium Aquatics. Luke here with the tank, and today we are going to go over a, another product. Not really going for my tank because it's a little too small for it, but I wanted to bring it to you, talk about it uh, for a couple different options for those with more nano systems or possibly for those looking to do some maybe traveling with their corals or fish or that sort of thing and they need some uh, help with it. So without further ado, let's go ahead, jump right into this. All right guys, so what we're gonna be looking at today is gonna to be geared more towards probably nano systems, um, very small setups because for larger systems, it's not just gonna be rated for that. But without further ado, we are gonna look at Novatex Ice Probe Chiller and their controller. So what this is, is basically a probe chilling unit. Uh, it is very small, it's just a small probe, I'll open it up here in a second, but it's gonna be meant more for smaller systems that only need, you know, a little bit of chilling. So let me go ahead, open this puppy up, and we'll take a look at it. Very simple, uh, we have our power supply, instructions, and the chiller. This is a probe chiller, so essentially this probe right here is what's gonna get cold. Uh, this is, you know, your little thermal plates uh, to help with uh, dissipating heat and a fan to keep everything help keep everything cool so the way this works here is essentially you're going to uh, unscrew this nut with a little rubber gasket you're gonna have to have some sort of either on the top placement on a container or you know possibly on the side but that would be a very big headache if you ever have to replace it so normally you would put this on the top and then put the probe in and screw it in so it sits in place you wouldn't necessarily have to do that um, but to keep it safe and secure it would be best and then essentially plug it in and this probe is going to get super cold and you need water movement to pass through it this isn't like your average chiller where the water runs through the unit and then back into your sump and through the cycle of chilling everything this is actually going to chill it by this probe so essentially this is like a heater in the opposite so instead of heating the water this is going to chill it down so uh, you need good water movement past this probe to make sure it's very efficient uh, the nice other nice thing is one you can plug it in just like this and have it running constant but if you want some control over it or need some control over it just depending on what you're trying to do with it they also sell the Novatech controller for it this guy is also very simple very simplistic you're not going to get huge amounts of led control boards all that jazz you've got your instructions and then our controller with mini screwdriver so this is the control box with our little uh, hookups already done for you and we're going to hook it up to the power supply and to the ice probe and here's our temperature probe and so the way this is going to work is very simple it, there's no lcd you're not creating a temperature or anything like that if we look down here there's a little hole here uh, with plus and minus and you're going to take that screwdriver and adjust that according to how cold you're wanting to make the chiller work super super simple to set up um, let's go over some of the specs on this here real quick so you know exactly what this is used for here all right so to get a little bit more information here um, insulation like I mentioned uh, most people might do it on top because you can definitely drill a hole you can use this rubber silicone uh, seal to make it watertight however the only concern of it would be is if something does happen to this that you have to pull it out for maintenance or cleaning, whatever the case may be, you then have a hole to deal with and you would have to drain at least as far down uh, past this line. So depending on how your setup is, it could work, but you know, um, you would have to check that out. So the biggest factor here is we want to make sure that there is plenty of air circulation around this. Um, if this cannot dissipate the heat that is being created when it's plugged in and running, it's not going to be very efficient. So you've got to make sure you've got plenty of open area around this and the fan is going to run 24 seven. It's meant to keep everything and the heat moving because if it doesn't, it's just not going to be efficient for you and you're not going to get out of it what you want. So make sure you've got plenty of room. I wouldn't put it in a closed cabinet if you can help it or have some sort of exhaust in your cabinet to make sure that that heat is going out as it, uh, 
um, and maybe pull in fresh air as well. So you wanna make sure that is vital to the system. Um, I know we actually have a lot of people that actually buy this for non-aquarium uses as well. I think for hydroponics and that sort of thing as well. So it's pretty cool um, and a great little unit. So for the ratings, uh, for a 10 gallon tank, you can chill six to eight degrees. A uh, 20 gallon tank is gonna do three to four and a 40 gallon tank is gonna do one to two. Obviously you could double these up and double those parameters and that is obviously gonna be very dependent again on your air circulation around this and on your water circulation around the probe. If you don't have good circulation of either, you're not gonna get quite the same number, so keep that in mind. But it can do quite a bit um, there, so that's very nice. Uh, runs 50 watts of power, so this one can do 65 to 85 degrees. You can, again, control it with that controller I showed you. Um, if you don't have it, then it's just gonna keep going nonstop and your heater's gonna have to you basically take the rest into uh, consideration to keep it warm back up because if it you know if you have a 10 gallon tank and you know it it's going to run and chill at six degrees which is maybe too far then your heater can combat that but then you're kind of playing uh, cat and mouse there with heat and cooling and it'd be better just to get the controller so you're not uh, overdoing that one thing that can actually really help is if you do have it down in your sump or in a smaller container, whatever the case may be, if you were to insulate that container, you're gonna get even better results out of this. Um, it, they don't really tell you how much, but you will definitely get some better results because then obviously you're keeping that water that you're chilling cooler because it's insulated. So this could actually be a, a pretty decent option if you are transporting fish, uh, moving, and you're instead of summer, super, super hot, put them inside a cooler, um, fit it to this and then just get an inverter um, or and then just get a power supply that you can run it through the car or you know if you have an extra huge battery pack maybe you be able to do that but uh, it's always a viable option if necessary we actually sell quite a few of these I like the idea but I'll play around with it put it on something small and uh, play around with the controller great little unit I highly highly recommend go checking it out especially for you with nano systems uh, this is a great little unit I'll put a link in the description below and uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to let us know and we'd be happy to help you out thanks so much for stopping by guys Black Friday is going on make sure go look at our website there's tons of sales already going on there's going to be more sales coming there's going to be giveaways that are going on that you can check on the uh, front banner page there you'll see those uh, so don't miss out on those guys We'd uh, love to have you be a part of it, and uh, that's it. Have a great, happy, healthy, safe, wonderful Thanksgiving, and I will catch you in a few short weeks. Peace.